I uh, see Shaolin monks with Goro on the top. Join together the mightiest warriors of the White Lotus, Liu Kang and Kung Lao, join together to defend Earthrealm. Oh dear, I suck at both of you. Okay. Where are you off to then? Through you, it seems. <laughs> Going home in a box or two. Probably. Round one. Fight. Okay, back forward X. Okay, that's different from back in the day. Back forward Y, flying dragon attack. Down back Y, dragon roar. Doing it backwards. You will not be remembered. Round two. Probably not. Fight. Could have start, could have just. Liu Kang wins. He could have just started with that, dude. Revenant katana or normal katana? Kung Lao. Oh, you see katana. Christ. <laughs> Yes, but you will do. Round one, fight! Oh no, it's... I don't even have... I was... I, I thought that it was like a, like a two-character, two-life bar thing, where like, if I die as Liu Kang, then Kong Lao comes in? No. It's... Oh, this is gonna fuck with me. Oh no, it, like, it's, it's off and on. Alright. Kung Lao is like, like like reptile. Kung Lao is another character who, like, they have just fucking demolished. Like Kung Lao, he was probably the best part of the uh, uh, of the more recent Mortal Kombat movie. He was actually really close to his original incarnation in Mortal Kombat Two. Uh, Kung Lao was originally a really humble, uh, sort of chill character. And they have turned him into this, like, I, like and I think this might have begun with Shaolin monks, but I'm not sure. But they turned him into this complete dick. Just as, just as, just as, like, they turned him into Vegeta, essentially. Like, just about. Not quite as violent and psychotic as Vegeta, but the but the inferiority complex, you know what I mean? Like, right next to the, uh, Liu Kang's Goku, uh, and, and they just have him, like, constantly needling him and stuff. They turned him into a dick. 
I was like, that's not Kung Lao. Like, Kung Lao's like fucking humble with it. Like, he would like Kung Lao for Mortal Kombat 2. He's doing what he has to for Earthrealm, but he would be just as happy. More happy, in fact, just like fucking gardening back at the temple, man. Like, he just wants to fucking live his life and shit. Like, he doesn't want to, like, be out there, like, fighting Outworld. I miss that. I miss the old Kung Lao. I miss the old Reptile. Uh, I know too, like, it is, their characters are too far gone, unfortunately, for me to dare to hope that they might be redeemed in the upcoming Mortal Kombat game. That was not even, like, announced properly. It was announced by, like, a screenshot that got leaked. Oh, by the way, it was like a slide during a corporate presentation. By the way, we're in the middle of developing, like, Mortal Kombat 12. It was such an afterthought. Ugh, okay. Uh, down forward X. Let's see. Dive kicker! So if I dive kicker, do I just instantly win? Uh, jump down B. Down up teleport. All right. Hat toss. Back forward Y. Jesus! God damn! God damn, Kung Lao! Fuck! You just be a cheap bastard. That's right. Oh! Oh! Trying to get the uh Okay, no. Not an instant win button. Ooh. I was trying to dive kick from the um I mean, that, I'm just gonna do this. That's that's so fucked up. There we go, dive kick. Gross lizard guy. I used to be really badass, but now I suck. My victory screen just has me go. I need a camera. Chance to depart. And if I do not, you will have my teeth at your throat. Round one. Fight. My whole thing used to be. My whole thing used to be. Oh. Invisibility isn't even properly invisible anymore. He used to be actually invisible and you couldn't fucking see where he was. Alright, let's try to see Dragon's Fire. And they're changing up the moves on me too. God damn it. Uh, let's 
see double dragon kick, dragon for down back Y. <laughs> Grab you while you're invisible, because that's how that machine works. Just command mail you to death. Looks more like Nightwolf. Scorpion. Kong's about to have his ass handed to him. This is about to be at like a fucking teleport fest. Wow. Long have I sought this. Then you seek the afterlife. Round one. Fight. <laughs> I mean, when in Rome. Space him with the thing. Kung Lao wins. Darling. Keep away, loathsome beast. You will remember your love for me. Round one. Fight. Alright. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yes. The ender of friendships. The bicycle kick. Stop fucking holding down and be. <laughs> I remember many a uh, uh, match in Mortal Kombat 2 and many a throne controller when people would just not fucking stop bicycle bicycle kicking people to win. Like, it was either that or it was the fucking uppercut. Like, just, just uppercutting constantly. Let's see. Four back four B. <laughs> Lita, I just need you. Oh my god, this controller is... I'm just gonna hurt the hell out of you. Crawl back to the gutter. Round two. Fight.
There we go. I'm happy. Pad is not the best. You can wins. I am using a cheapo. This is a cheapo controller. Uh, what what is this? This is a oh fuck me, uh, Goro. Uh, this is a what the hell is it? A billboard? Like Kumo. It's formatted so like a PlayStation game. controller, but it's got Xbox face buttons. Alright, what kind? See, spin, dive kick, uh, let's see, down forward X, teleport. Teleport's gonna come in handy. Uh, let's see. Oh, god damn it. He's gonna punch you in the face. What'd you fucking say to me? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking throw your shit. Ow, 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 ow. Fuck. Thought that punched me in the face was funny, did you? I'm gonna fucking throw you. Yes, I'm being cheap against Goro, what of it? It's fucking Goro. Round two, fight. Getting a shit beat out of me. Fuck! Ugh. He is somewhat angry with me. Damn hat! Oh. <laughs> I'm in the wrong button. Joe is like turning your friends to take a sip from Boar. No. Oh no. Not I'm not drinking from Boar I chose jug. Uh, what's the traditional tower? Oh, this is the regular arcade, yeah. Challenges. Tower challenge list. Okay. Never mind.
let's go into the crypt. gotten everything in here. No. Oh, this. Danger fight modifier. What the fuck? Alright, whatever. Shao Kahn. Okay. okay, yeah, that's worth it. Cheap stuff first. Uh, Tilting World Fight Modifier. Oh dear. No idea what that is. No idea what that is. Jeremy Takeda. focus on clearing out this area, I guess. Vitality leg up. Uh, as if Kenshi needed to be more fucking brutal. Release day. Shinnok. Another character probably never gonna play. Oh, lovely. Let's just go in chapters. We're just gonna go into this because I... So I do not like Kung Jin's play style, so I'm probably going to stink up the place here. As if I haven't been already. Any ideas? Sub-Zero, let's talk. That opportunity has passed. Got a new plan, Cage? You could have followed the old one, Jin. You're going to catch hell if you kill us. Yes, I suppose so. Chuo, Tang Jin. That worked. You all failed, this by the way. This was all a, a... A training exercise. Damn, I should have seen it. Yeah, you you and your friends show much promise, Cassandra Cage. 
But until you function as one, you will fall short. So other than that, you enjoyed your visit? The Linquois shredded us. You, maybe. I see plenty of frozen boot prints on your ass, too. Come on now. You're all winners in my book. New orders from General Blade. Priority one, Outworlders. Here in Earthrealm. An invasion? Couldn't be. You're not afraid, are you, Mr. Cage? Outworlders, I can handle. So when did they show up? The portal opened by the docks a few hours ago. Nearly 5,000 in all. Refugees. From the Outworld Civil War. Must be bad if they risk coming to Earthrealm. After you. Do not dwell on your encounter with the Linque, son. Pretty hard not to. Thanks, Kenshi. Could you and Mr. Cage join us? Sergeant Cage, you and your team as you were. This is Li Mei. She seeks asylum for her people in Earthrealm. Our village, Sando, was the epicenter of a fierce battle. We barely escaped with our lives. Such is war. I mean, no offense, but you outworlders kind of live for that, right? This was different. The rebels, Melina, had a weapon unlike anything. Entire battalions erased. It was not honorable, not combat. Tell me more about the weapon. A talisman, gold, with a center jewel. Melina wields its crimson energy without precision. Well, that's good then. Not now, Sergeant Cage. It is enough that she possesses it. It turns the tide in her favor. The Emperor grows desperate, and those caught in the middle pay the price. If this talisman is what I suspect it to be, we may all pay a price. We talking about Shinnok's amulet? Can't be. The base, the vault, your wardings. SF, Shaolin, no way anyone can get past all that. I must be certain. Well, this is cozy. You remind me of an Earthrealmer who crossed over with us. He also found humor in everything. Handsome guy, right? He was an Earthrealmer. One of his eyes glowed red. What does she mean? Kenshi, continue with Lee Mei. I'm going to the refugee camp. Gotta get to him before he finds a way out. I'll come with. Go get an update on camp security from Colonel Flagg. Why? Because then you won't be here. Are we with you? No. I need to confirm with Kotal Khan that Lee Mei's story is true. You and your team are going to Outworld. I don't know. I expected the sky to be purple or something. Don't believe everything you see online. And what makes you an expert? The Shaolin Archives. I studied a lot about Outworld. No substitute for experience. So what makes you our leader? Guys, let's stick to the mission. Li Mei has to be telling the truth. Uh, hate an invasion would violate the Reiko Accords. You can always trust an outworlder. But if outworlds are ally, why didn't they help us during the Netherrealm War? Against Quan Chi and his team of... Revenants? Like Jackie's dad? Asshole. Yeah, pretty much. It's not an alliance, not an aggression pact. Outworld is not our ally. A point you might make with more subtlety, given your surroundings. 
Now state your business, including a reason why we shouldn't kill you. I can read you. You're not from Outworld. I'm from Earthrealm, like you. But my employer, Kotal Khan, is from Outworld. So now I'm from Outworld. State your business. We're emissaries. We need to talk to Kotal Khan. Here, we have Raiden's official seal. I can buy one of those at that stall right over there. Look, you can arrest us, even kill us. But if we're telling the truth, you probably get a pay cut. Or worse. You take us to the con, I'll tell them you took us down. Maybe you get a bonus. You can't lose. Follow me. In these times of war, we are required to view every resource as a weapon for our Emperor to use at his discretion. To take without his leave is to steal from the hand of Kotal Khan himself. Therefore, having been found guilty of theft, you shall be put to death. I was hungry. Your sentence will be carried out immediately. Death? For petty theft? Remember where you are. Jin? Probably forgets where he is. Just to shoot you. him. Lesson in trust from a mercenary. Here's another learning. Just option. shoot him, Aaron. Best defense. Probably get shot with arrows in his eyes. Of course, I talk shit and promptly get hit. Okay, how? What is that lunge kick? Okay, back forward A. That's what it is. Ah! Stop leaving to stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try. Here's another. Uh, Chakram, see, back four decks. Oh, is that it? I thought it worked. Okay, oh, whatever. Too many. There, dive kick. We should be dead. <laughs> Gun is the best of best. Where 
even trying. All right, straight out of dark. Yes, Aaron Black is the one. <laughs> After all that, he just gets bump a quick learner. Bump on the noggin, and Aaron Black goes down. For a pony like every other girl? The archives never mention symbiotes. I mean, I wish I had more to say, but I just don't like Kung Jin. Did you at least try? It's, it, it's just the character. Like, I, I don't like the character, I don't like the mechanics of the hero. confident with him with enough practice, but do I want to practice with him is the thing. Of course, get my ass handed to me right now! Skit sheet. Cheap did not save me. Stay lay down, boy. Yep. Give up. You shot the eye. Okay, no. Okay, I was about to say, stop on the kid. <laughs> Have to go through that whole thing again. Do I have to do the QTE you hear, again? No, skate. okay. Shit! <laughs> 
Learn more about you. Too like you're he could. He's almost a cool character, but he's just too much of a dick. You guys, all right. <laughs> uh Devora. The Earth Bumblers, yes. This one must learn more of your diplomatic techniques. We're here to see Kotal Khan, General Blade. You interfere with outworld matters. The penalty is death. I'm sensing a theme. But, as we honor the Rako Accords, we will consult the Emperor. You will await him here. You know, Kung Jin, Devorah's a character I like even less than you do, so... You want to take this opportunity to tell us what the fuck shit you were thinking? I gotta wonder why you'd risk inter-realm war for a bread thief. Because not all thieves are irredeemable. I... I like Devora even l less than I like you, so I'll give you that. Like, he's not a terrible character. He's not a weak character. He's just kind of a douche. I think that's the statue that Kung Lao is making at the end of Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. Correct me if I'm wrong. It has more sentimental than monetary value. Nevertheless, I would prefer you did not steal it. It's a family heirloom. One that shouldn't have been given to you. Your family honored me with this memento of your cousin Lao. After his death. A death you caused! You made him fight Shao Kahn! And stood there while that bastard snapped his neck! You go too far, Kung Jin. No. Not far enough. <laughs> Hey, what's up? <laughs> this guy's coming out the door. Just let me go. Oh, Lord Raiden getting his ass kicked. Uh, is it Wednesday already? Blood of Kung Lao. Descendant of the great Kung Lao. A common thief. Did you think you could walk unimpeded into my temple and walk out again without my complicity? I didn't kind of kick your ass. 
You wanted me to attack you. Why? To release your anger. Make you amenable to reason. And make me feel like shit. Self-loathing has always been an unfortunate part of your makeup. There lies ahead a brighter path. One that will truly honor your ancestors. One that is worthy of you. Go to the Wuxi Academy. Join the Shaolin, like Kung Lao before you. I can't. They won't accept. They care only about what is in your heart, not whom your heart desires. It's too late for me. It is never too late, Kung Jin. Your news of refugees oh, is troubling. Their exodus to Earthrealm was not known to me. I do know this. I invited no guests from Earthrealm. Certainly none who would disrupt the execution of justice. How do I know you are not allied with Melina? Perhaps her newfound power has earned her new friend. Perhaps you're a moron. Friends? No. No, we're not even sure that Shinnok's amulet she has. She employs Shinnok's amulet against me. The very item Earthrealm swore would be safe in its care. Smooth cast. When Outworld was offered no participation. We were under attack, not Outworld. Odal Khan, the fire that burns the sun. We are here because we share your concerns about the missing item. We intend no ill against your rule. At least one Earthrealmer can forge words like silver. But I recall an Earthrealm expression. There is more honor among thieves than diplomats. I've had the questionable fortune to be both Emperor, but I'm telling you the truth. You are allied with Melina. Oh my god. You may carry out your sentence. Kotal Khan, under Outworld law, I claim the right of defense by combat. What? You're gonna fight a duel? To absolve us of all accusations. Denying the request brings dishonor upon the accuser. You know much of Outworld. No, also, the duel ends in death. Oh, no, that's good. Killing Kotal Khan will be a bonus round. You have won nothing. <laughs> Merely a few more seconds of breath. Unfortunately, the game is better at playing Kotal than I am. Owie. Owie! Ow! Knock that shit off. Remember when I said the game is better at playing Kotal than I am? I wasn't joking. On your knees. On your knees. Oh, get used to them doing that to me. I grow stronger. Yeah, that's great. Great for you, Kotal. I'm happy. I'm real happy for you. Kotal's a moron, a by the way. Few more seconds of breath. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get my shit straight here. Uh, backward axe. <laughs> Gonna... There we go. 
Let me save the x-ray for when I need it. Because I'm probably going to need it soon. The charges against you are void. I say to all that Earth Realm means outworld no harm. Okay, now kill Kotal. Now kill me. Be done with it. Yes, do so. You're not actually gonna. Yes, 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 do it. Do it! Instead of your life, I claim your service. If Melina does have the amulet, we can get it from her more easily if we work together. Emperor, they cannot be trusted. Zora, can you not perceive? I am indebted to them. Also, that's hilarious coming out of you. You honor us, Kotal Khan. Our gratitude is wide like the ocean. I'll talk to General Blade. Tell her about our new... Arrangement. You son of a bitch. 